This video is brought to you by ChannelFireball.com. Check out CFB for free strategy videos and articles from the best players in the world. You can also use the code GABBY at checkout to get 5% off any purchase. So for those who don't know or are new to our Chandelier playthrough or are like, what does this look like it escaped from 1997? You would be correct. It is an old game. Um, so this is a game from 1997. It's a magic RPG where the combat system is playing games of magic. So you go around the map, you have quests, you have to defeat these evil wizards. As the more things that you do, the more cards you get for your decks. Um, oh, that's awesome, Pillar Star. I love that. That makes me super happy to hear. Chandelier AQ. So for those who have been following our playthrough, this is our third day playing Chandelar, so we must be like six hours into it or something. Um, this is our deck so far. We basically have a blue-green ramp deck with three land or elves, a killer bee bees, scrib sprites. We're, we're actually trying to get another Birds of Paradise. Um, we just got done with a... We just got done with a temple that gave us a mox ruby! Boom. Mr. Sarkin, welcome on in. Thank you for the 18 months. Sorry that the alerts are like so faint. Um, it's hard to, like that's just the deal with the way we're playing Chandelar. So I can't have that cool notification, but thank you again, Mr. Sarkin for the 18 months. I hope you're doing awesome today. Yeah, I could see us cutting the sprites. Um, Mox Ruby is basically just a land. So I think for Mox Ruby, we need to cut a land. I know, would you, our deck is getting good, right? So we have, it's possible that script sprites is not worth it anymore, especially because we cut um, the unstable mutation, which makes which makes the script sprites also worse. Worse. It's library or strip, right? It has to be a colorless land. I honestly have liked strip mine more than library, so I think I'm just gonna take library out. Oh, it would be so good, the Nato. I know library is really good too. Yeah, no, it is, Molly, I agree. But I do think Strip has just, like, randomly won us a bunch of games where we just, like, Strip opponent and then they're Dobbsies. Library and Lanowarls are definitely not a combo. Especially, um... Yeah, we're kind of looking for some better beef, right, Wuja? Like, we have the Mahamodi Jin, which is really good. And we have the Killer Bees, which is pretty good. And we have two Darkwood Boars, which are okay. But, like, I'm not really impressed with Crawl Worm. So... This is the deck for those who haven't been following our playthrough. It's getting pretty good. It's just a blue-green ramp deck with... We're starting to get like a pretty decent mana base. We're splashing Contract from below off of two Underground Seas and a Bayou and a Birds of Paradise. So we would actually be really interested in finding a second Birds of Paradise for this Contract from below to be more reliable. Um, Mox is more of a ramp spell than the land. No, Mox is just a land. Mox is... And even, even when you play... Like... Basically, all you have to think about is Mox is a land that you can play on a turn where you also played a land. End of story. So, like, if you have an off-color Mox, it's just an off-color land that doesn't have a restriction. Uh, we could want another spider over boar. We have one giant spider here. Um, and I don't know how good, like, these grizzly bears are. We could cut one boars and play one more spider. I actually kind of like it against... We randomly get hosed with flyers, so I could see cutting one Dirkwood boars. Um, no, we don't have any active quests. We just finished the quest. So, let me save our... And let's pick up a quest here. Take this message north to my brother. No, we can't go there. No, that quest is bad. So, l let me show you guys where we're at. Um, so, we're right here. This is where we left off. We left off right here and we just finished a, a dungeon that was here. What is this deck? Hey, boo, it's we're playing Chandelar. We could cut Crawl Room for Spider and maybe add the boars back in. Yeah, that might be reasonable. Oh, let me think about it. I'm not sure I want to change it up yet. Um, you download this game, but it won't let me purchase cards in town. It's a bit of a hand. Wait, it won't let you? Oh, Tron, you have to hit Y on your keyboard to buy. That's the way you do it. I also was there and I was like clicking on it and I'm like, that's weird. I don't know why it doesn't work. So look over here. Um, we have defeated currently, I think, the Red Wizard, I want to say. The Unicorn Spire over here is under siege, so we have to pick up a quest and go this way to try to save the Unicorn Spire, otherwise we lose the game. So it's important that we head that direction. Um, let me see if we're in an expensive city. We're in a cheap city, so is there anything to buy here? Mm, no. 
Of course, Tron, no worries. What up, Green? <laughs> what up, Queen? Hey, Bigfoot, how are you? All right, so let's go this way. Um, I, I already have a... S I'm just gonna bribe him. I'm not, like, really feeling that fight. Ooh, opponent's ante is fireball? Kind of interested in that. My ante is underground sea, though. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. Yeah, we can battle. Oh, God, I'm so nervous about losing the underground sea. Fireball's so good, though. No worries, Tron. I, I mean... I wouldn't have known if I hadn't started playing on stream and people, like, I was like, why can't I buy anything? And we're like, hit Y. And I bought it, so. Sure. Uh, so, what, oh, we have the Mox Ruby, nice. So we can go Island, Mox Ruby. And then Strip Mine, Prodigal Sorcerer, probably. Black Vice. Ooh, good thing we had a... <laughs> good thing we had a uh, Mox Ruby, because then... This is above four, right? Magic Arena Alpha Build! Crystal Rod. Gain one life, uses ability only when a blue spell successfully cast and only once such for each spell. Okay, so we're gonna take one damage here. Um, let's just play another Prodigal Sorcerer. All right, well, we're pinging them for two a turn. I think you can drag your hand into the back area to the right of the battlefield. It still works and creates some extra space. Oh, oh, interesting. First strike protection from black. Okay, that we might have to shoot down. How many forests we got? We have a lot, rabbits. The, the deck is getting better. We have a bunch of trops and stuff. Um, we might just control magic that thing. One, two, three, four. Let's take this. Is it 100% busted? I, it's not 100% busted yet, six foot. It's getting much better. Like, wall of dust. If wall of dust blocks any creature, that creature cannot attack during the... Oh, weird. So it has, like, ice on it. Huh. Dark wood boars. Can't cast it yet, though. Oh, man. This black vice is going to start debating us if we can't. Um... I guess we attack with white knight. I know. We kind of are, huh, rabbits? Oh, they didn't even block. All right, that works. <laughs> you downloaded this game the other night. So addicted to old school gameplay. Was up to the fire? Oh, my gosh. Tendo, that's amazing. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Fire elemental. Ooh, this is the old art. Looks all NSFW. Alright, can we draw a green source? Nice. Let's play some... Uh, Dirkwood Boars. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is the Saucy Fire Elemental. Let me move my hand over here real quick. That looks a little bit better. They never block. <laughs> White is such a good creature. It's pretty good. First strike protection from black. And they didn't do anything. I don't know why they never block. They're such cowards. Grizzly bears. Um, I think we just played giant spider. One, two, three, four. That means we can also strip them. Let's strip their... I'm not sure. They're only island, probably. Attack with these two. They finally blocked. Ooh! All damage dealt to you so far this turn from one source is retroactively added to your life total instead of subtracted. Oh, weird. They gained two life from that? That feels like cheating. Like, we got debated. Hi, DC. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, the block is bad, but they're also not doing anything, so... <laughs> One white white to gain four life. I know, busted. There's our bayou. Well, we can play a couple things now, because we can play the killer bees. 
And then we can start pumping up the bees. Okay, let's just... This unlocks... A, I think they have keyword, the wall dust can never block. I think that's what's going on here. I know! We picked up a moxin finally, DC. Nice, we did it! Alright. We did not lose our underground, see? Love it. Woo! That's a lot of stuff. Fireball, Stone Rain, Earthquake, Uncommon, and a Common? Damn, Brass! Thank you so much for the four months! Nope, this is not Magic Online. Yeah, I think we want the clues here. This is the first clue for Force Field, Library of Alexandria, Mish's Workshop. But, like, I think it's worth it to take all the red cards. The red cards seem really good here. Oh, it was a slimy Quiltosh. Taste it. <laughs> Alright, let's take the cards. Centaur Warchief. Those who enter the domain of the mighty red wizardress must pay for the privilege. Will you duel or... And I get smoke. Uh... I don't want to fight you. I'm off it. I want to pick up a quest is what I want. You happen upon a... Which of the spells has trample ability? Vampire Bads, Goblin Rock Sled, Ragman, Marsh Viper, or Iron Root Tree Folk. So it's not the Folk. I don't think it's the Marsh Viper. Which one is it? Is it Rock Sled? I've got this, Gabby. Psh, I don't know, man. Sled Man? All right. Rock Sled. It was! Good job, chat. Oh, we got a Scrubland. Love it. All right, we need to pick up a quest here. <gasps> oh snap, that dragon was huge! Did I win a Library of Alexander's Ante already? I won a library at some point. I'm not playing because I'm playing a Mox right now. Let me pick up a quest. Defeat the sorcerer which has been menacing one red amulet. Your quest sucks, I'm not interested. Uh, another bronze tablet here. This is a cheap city, so we could buy that drain life. I want to keep the fireball at the very least, DC. Drain life seems good. I'm gonna... We can flip these. These are all, like, really cheap. We can flip all of them. Are we splashing two fireballs? No, we're currently splashing black for contract from below, but if we get good fixing, we might splash red for, like, good red spells. I am, Rabbits. I'm just, uh... I'm just going from town to town picking up the cheap cards and selling the more expensive ones. That's, like, all we do. Um, where are we in the map? Alright, so I think the best way- Ooh, there's that green castle on the way. Hmm. Should we swing by the green castle on the way to Unicorn Spire? What do we know about the green castle? It really is, Molly. I'm putting all my econ- econ lessons <laughs> into this game. <laughs> I am just a trader. A merchant. Trying to earn an honest living. I don't get- oh, you don't get clues about castles? Okay, so... I'm kind of- what's our green hate look like? Let's see what our metagame looks like. Did I play any brawl? I did! I, I really liked it, Jer. I am- I am looking forward to having arenas, uh, or brawl being a more occurring thing on arena. We have some life taps, right? Yes. We have the two life taps. Yeah, we should swing by the green castle on the way there. Our sideboard's really good, Rabbits. We've been working on it. So we go life tap, life tap. Um, take out probably a scrib sprites. And... I don't think I filmed any videos on it, unfortunately, Jer. I regretted it doing it after. I like just kind of like played the event and I just switched around all decks. I maybe should have just turned that into a video, but I really totally punted and I didn't make any of it. I, however, do plan on making some brawl content when it does come out, so... Maybe in the future! Oh no, Julus! Julus, I'll make your own snake hype. How about that? Boom. You can kind of hear it. It's very faint. Hi, Miss Ford. How are you? So, we have the two life taps. Do we have anything else against the green creatures? I think after the green castle, you should start dungeon diving for the good cards before all these wizards are dead. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I mean... I think I'm only just going to get that one. B yes, Black Vice seems bad because uh, it probably carries over in... Life carries over in castles, right? So Black Vice out. That's 40. Is there anything else that looks good in... 
We could take out a Crawl Worm and just play a Dirkwood Boars. I think Boars might just be better than Crawl Worm. Like, a s one minute difference for two less power is pretty meaningful. Yes, agreed, Yuka. Oh, that's right. You're right, Time Twister. Black Vice is only you. It's only them, right? Black Vice is kind of random, though. It doesn't always work. I have liked playing it, though. Let me... Where's my Black Vice? There it is. Yeah, I think so, Rabbits. I do think we need the mana sources. I would like some card draw spells. I think that would be sweet, but... The, the deck's been fun functioning pretty well. In fact, I would want to play one more Birds of Paradise. We could play Savannah City Brass Cob Green. Ugh, Cob Green is really good. I don't think we're in a spot to splash it, though. City of Brass is so... Or, sorry, Cop Green is so good against them, though. Yeah, so I have Bird. I could play the City of Brass, and then we did pick up a Savannah, right? Yeah, there's a Savannah. No, you're right, Rabbits. I do have the Savannah. Vault isn't worth it? Nah, it's not. Do I save slash load? Uh, I can save before we go in. Thanks for playing. Oh, Mako. Yeah, I think so too. I think we're doing okay. I think I'm not going to play the cop. I, I just want to cut one more card from this and not play the cop. Or we'll just try this. I think we're going with the two life taps. That's pretty good. What do we not... Does life carry over in in, uh, in a castle? Because if it does, I might not want to play Psionic Blast. <laughs> I'll take it, Mako. Does not carry over? Okay, so then Psionic Blast is fine. Eh, I might just take Black Vice still. Alright, so where is it? It's just directly west from here. Oh, that's true, Scott Pilgrim. Maybe I end up cutting a giant spooder. I don't have a choice to not battle them. Divine! Divine, we're playing Chandelar. It's a 1997 uh, magic RPG. <laughs> it's really good. This is blue, blue to cast it, huh? So let's go... Um... We have to play Birds of Paradise, so let's just go Forest, Birds of Paradise. No, Louise, it's not a team tournament. <laughs> Caleb was just confused. Caleb was just confused. Okay, so now we can go Underground Sea, play Life Tap. And then play Land Orals. This is gonna be sweet. Uh, Prodigal Sorcerer and Killer Bees. What does Life Tap do? Whenever any forest target opponent controls becomes tapped, gain one life. So it's good for castles and stuff because it helps you just gain a bunch of life when you're when you know your opponents are gonna be playing green. It's a sideboard card, but it works for this thing. Uh, I think Killer Bees can actually just go like pedal to the metal. So let's go one, two. Th Blue's fine. Two, three. And then attack with Land Orals. Oh, Borderline series coming out tonight? I never really play too much of it. Divine, if you want to play it, I have it right here. Oh my gosh, that's so cool, Nikolai. Did you win? Oh no! No, how dare they? That was so bad. Ouch. Oh, well, we still drew a Mahamori Jin, so taste it. Oh, I could have saved the bees, couldn't I? It. Uh, oh, the bees is... The bees pumps power and toughness. Interesting. Of course, Divine. That's fine. I 
would have wanted a land. That would have been sweet. Oh, that's sweet, Skull Pilgrim. <laughs> Indecisive. This is a magic RPG from 1997. I would like Amanda Link. We've picked up like two. Yes, this is against AI, but the AI is really bad because it's. Oh, I think I'm going to want to kill that thing. Is our life tab broken? No, I don't think so. We're at 18. Nice. No, it's been working. We've gained like five mana or five life. I think attacking with grizzly bears is fine because I can just ping it to kill it. Or they could just not block. Nice. I don't think there's a stack back here, Drake. How to get access to this game? It's available online. You can just torrent it. I made a video. Hit exclamation mark Chandelar if you want to see how to play it. Boars of nature? Oh, baby. That thing is huge. Wow. Okay. All right, we're going to have to line up some double blocks. Or we are going to gain a bunch from them just tapping their forest, which is something. <laughs> I might just start attacking them because I can kill them twice in Mahamori with Mahamori Jin. So let's just go attack you. And pass. All right, so they just pay... Yeah, life tap is very good versus force. This is cool art. Cop green? Don't really care about that. Does this have trample? It does. Let me just take it. Okay, there it did. Nice. Uh, let me go down here to save, probably, before I- because I think that's the temple up there. Did they main phase their cop I did not notice, Time Twister. Yeah, original Force is really good. It's really good, indecisive, it's a magic RPG from 1997. Do they have anything good here? It's a 6 mana 4-6, I don't think I'm interested. Might as well buy the Swamp. Paralyze is pretty good. I don't think I want Dark Ritual. This is a cheap city, so I don't want to sell anything here. Nah, Matt, I, we, our deck is very good. I don't think we want to switch. We are splashing black for some stuff. How do you access the save load menu? Um, escape, I think is, or right click and escape are what I'm using mostly. Defeat the mind steal, which has been menacing our village, returning here to Roger with two black amulets. That quest is whatever. Alright, we did it. Who dares challenge the mighty green wizard? Are you brave enough to enter my castle? Yes, enter castle. Alright, Verduran Enchantress is in effect. Uh, so it's colorless green green O2. Draw a card using this ability only when you successfully cast an enchantment spell and only once. Okay, that's cool. Nah, only the AI has it, which is stupid. Only they have it. It's BS. <laughs> yeah, but Slabberwocky, I can still fight a mind, uh, mind stealer if I run into one. I just think that quest is bad and we can do better. Ooh, let's go get some dice. Yeah, the Rod of Ruin quest was really hard for us. I got a land of worlds. That seems like a fine place to be at. Oh, wow. Hold on, let's go up. Do you get any penalty for- No, you don't get any- So I don't want to go there, because there's a bunch of dice there. Um, I think I'm gonna have to battle the centaur over here. Exploring the castle, we encounter a centaur shaman. Centaur shaman has a spell land orals. So we both start out with land orals. And they also have the enchantress. Stupid. Oh, I should have checked the bottom. It's obviously a slimy centaur. It's always a slimy centaur. Our hand is not very good. I'm not happy about that. Oh, man. 
Julie! Yes, slimy is the default state for literally everything in this game. We can't really attack into this. Oh my gosh, no. Well, that was BS. <laughs> uh, well... I guess we'll pass with a counter spell. Dude, Enchantress is gonna wreck us. Doggy, you're gonna go to doggy jail in a sec if you don't stop. Uh, I think we're so far behind that we kind of have to counterspell almost anything. Dog jail. It's just her crate. <laughs> she, but she's gonna go to dog jail in a sec if she doesn't stop. Oh my gosh, stop! During his upkeep to untap it. Uh, I know, they're, we're super paralyzed. We might eventually have to kill that thing. During the upkeep of enchanted creatures, controller wanderlust deals one damage to him or her. Oh no, that's a, that's a clock. Alright, I'm not feeling good about our chances. It's one, two, three, four. Giant spider can at least attack through this. They're, they still have six cards in hand. I'm getting so browned. I am getting jibated. Spider helps and... I only have a million things. I don't think I pay anything here. I think I just play this and the giant spider and... They can't activate this yet. It gets plus one plus one until end of turn and they can tap it four times. Yeah, I might... There is a host alert threshold to prevent unsavory rodents from spamming channel with alerts. Is there a host alert threshold? Um, did someone host me? I think it only shows over, like, 10. I think it only shows up an alert if... Oh, no! Oh, no! Did I debate Squirrel? Squirrel, no! <laughs> Squirrel, I'm sorry, Dobby. <laughs> I didn't see it, though. I think it's, like, 10. Is the threshold? Squirrel, thank you so much for the raid. I'm sorry. I feel like such a jerk. Um, let me attack with giant spider because we're just gonna die. It wouldn't do anything. They just jumped. Love it. Two, three, four. How is the new killer? I, I, I not killer. Uh, how's the new like? Champion, I saw it's like a ninja or something. We need a contract from below desperately. We could also have a steel effect for the cockatrice would not be too bad. Okay, since we have nothing here, I think here's where we pay for to untap. One, two, three, four. Because I think we have to kill it. Let me draw a card. We just drew a bayou. So prodigal sorcerer kill itself. Can't really attack anymore. Why main phase? Um, I guess I could have waited. It's all it's always on my upkeep, so that was not good. Well, they're not attacking with anything, luckily. Yeah, horror. Okay, the auto I find the auto topper to be really bad, so I'm just like manually doing it. Yeah, Contract's a great draw. Carry on ants. Oof. That's kind of scary. I don't think we really have attacks or anything. Oh no, they're attacking. They can also pump it a lot. There's no restriction for how many times they can pump it, right? Nope. Literally any amount. Uh, I think we're just gonna Chumperino with like a Llanowar Elves. Okay, whatever. 
I might- well, I'm not- I'm like not untapping it because I also want to give myself the out of drawing a card like we did just now, for example. Like now we can steal the cockatrice and that can just block the carrion ants, right? Cockatrice blocks are blocked by any non-walled creature. Destroy that creature at the end of combat. Nice. Is that better? Take the ants? I don't agree. I kind of feel like I want the cockatrice. One, two, three, four. Hey, Team Kessig. Gimme. So here we can attack with... This gives them a card, right? Put into a graveyard from play you gain... Oh, it's two life. Well, we can send with this. Didn't even think... Oh, I see, Squirrel. Oh, I like that. That is a good draw. So they have the carrion ants now, but we can just one, two, three. They activated it for no. Oh, just because I can ping with Prodigal Sorcerer, I suppose. We don't really have attacks here, unfortunately. Because I think we have to block that there if they attack. Oh, yeah, Rabbits. I don't know why the art always changes. Dragon Bear, I'd rather... I, I think the Land of Worlds is so worthless that I'd rather just, like, try to draw something. Now I'm gonna pay for it because we have so much mana. I'm gonna wait on this Prodigal Sorcerer, though. Yeah, I think I'm gonna start going face. Okay, since they didn't do anything, let's just go face. Uh, here is where I can... Oh, I'm too late. I'm on my draw phase. Ooh, life tap is good. One, two. Okay, cool. You got it. What the heck's an onula? It's weird. This is a card that they printed recently too, Reach. It, it's a three mana two to when it dies, you gain two life. That's it. It's all the text. Oh, I don't even care about the carrion you guys. I'm just going to prodigal sorcerer them. Like, they're not going to attack us. Mmm, sure, that's annoying. Like, I'd rather just go face. This current clock is not very good, but if they keep tapping fours, we're gonna keep life tapping, which is good. Okay, so here I think we can pay for this one. One, two, three, four. Let's see if we draw something good. Drew a bop. Might as well play it. Dark Ritual? For what? <laughs> Did they just Dark Ritual for no reason? <laughs> that's that's sweet. Just just for, for the lulls. Nice! <laughs> oh, that was great. That was wonderful. I didn't even use her carry an ants. During the upkeep of Enchanted Lance Controller, Curse Line deals one damage to him or her. Annoying. Alright, we're gonna have to start attacking with Cockatrice and chumping the Carrion Dance, just because... Um... Otherwise their clock's gonna be too fast, too furious. Draw. Draw Forest. Why did they lose your life? Because of Mana Burn. Mana Burn was in this game. So let's go to attacks and attack with a cockatrice. Nice, we got in there. Nah, no, that's... Oh, no! Well, that does gain us a lot of life. They also only did it for two. They're attacking with a carrion ants. Sure, let me go to block with this land of elves. Uh, I might respond here. I think the AI is stupid enough. Yeah, the AI is stupid enough that they can't do <laughs> They can't respond twice. Um, draw. Oh, the AI is just terrible. Ooh, I can strip mine my cursed land. Is this it? Which one's this one?
Did it not kill my cursed land? What happened? My strip just died. And it didn't take my cursed land with it. Oh, sorry, it's on the stack. You're right, you're right. It's just stuck. I got confused. <laughs> it's also stuck, so let me spacebar. Okay, yeah, spacebar worked. Nice. Attack with you. We can actually get in with a couple of things now. I think. Yeah, all those things are fine. Almost dead. Oh, I really thought we were going to lose this one. Luckily, the computer misplayed horribly. <laughs> Another bop. Tim them. Just an island. Let's go to tax and send with these. This is kind of old school. We did it! Okay, let's go answer this question. What is the toughness? Which of these spells has a toughness of one? Uh, toughness? I think this is Tundra Wolves. Yeah, it's wolves, right? Okay. Boom. Tundra Wolves, first strike. Let's go this way and see if there's anything. Nothing this way. Anything this way? Nothing this way. Uh, it does look like there's a bunch of open spaces down here. So let's go pick up a dice real quick. There's a lot of mobs oh look at that we have to go through the centaur to get to this guy yeah okay let's go pick up this thing real quick yeah i mean i don't know if we want to do it last i kind of want to go check out what's down here first yeah i kind of want to scope out the panorama here um, I want to see what's this way. Which of these spells has the ability of flying? Lost Soul, Goblin, Polka Band. I would assume it's Osai Vultures, but I'm not actually sure. Could be Lost Soul as well, I guess. Is it Vultures? Okay, cool. Boom. It is Osai Vultures. At the end of the turn, in which a creature was put into any graveyard from play, put a carry and counter on Osai Vultures. You can remove two counters to give it plus one, plus one until their turn. Um, okay, there's another thing here. This is a pretty big dungeon, huh? So, I think the only parts that we can't see are the top left corner here, or top right corner. Dude, I know, Botanic, we were just like full-time Chandelier streaming now. And then over here in this corner. So, let me go grab this dice. I got Killer Bees, perfect. That's a great one to start to start out with. So let's go try battling the centaur and then try to get the treasure. Oh, uh, I don't think I want to go this way. That that little dragon's going to debate me. I I had one game where I started out with a crow worm in play. And it just felt like cheating. <laughs> uh, exploring the castle, you encounter centaur shaman. Zerdna Sharma has a spell land or elves. I always have land or elves to start out with. My auntie's counter spell. Uh, what do we have? We have Trop, Island, Underground, Sea, Forest, Prodigal, Switcher, Elvish, Archers, and Birds of Paradise. So, let's go Trop. Bop. Put this here. Can't really attack with Killer Bees yet, but that's fine. Trop Bop. Has a nice ring to it. Let's draw something. Yeah, Strayonic, you just get to pick up some stuff, like, along the way. So, uh, it's pretty lucky. <laughs> I think we want to kill the Llanowar Elves, so let's go... Underground Sea... Prodigal Sorcerer, probably. Blue... Okay, we still can't attack with the bees, unfortunately, because we used all our mana. It's kind of awkward with killer bees, because we want to use the mana in the first couple turns, but I think being able to prodigal sorcerer kill the land world is going to be worth it. Uh, They did it again! It's four mana to untap it, right? 
Oh no, sorry. This is not paralyzed. It's wanderlust. Never mind. We're doing fine. Let me draw. I'm gonna take some damage. So let's go prodigal sorcerer kill Lana Worlds. Nice. Oh, I can't attack with the O one. I just don't want to. <laughs> Let me play Elvish Archers. Uh, blue and hey, Slovars, welcome. We're still Chandelaring. Play Lana Worlds with Trop, and then we get to attack with a B. And then we need to pump it up. Nice. Finally. <laughs> Reminds me of old Moto. Aw. Alright, we're gonna take some damage from that. Dry card. Mahamori Jin. One, two, three, four, five. Blue is fine. Six. Oh, you made the the fish? Fish! It looks more appetizing now that it's cut up. Poor fish. All right, we got a Mahamori Jin. Uh, what else can we do? Can't really... We can attack with the Elvish Archers and not the bees. We'll tim them later. God, Arena Chandler would be so amazing. Pestilence? Oh my god. Oh my god, no! Well, we are about to get Mono Brown control. Let me use the... We have a 5-6, luckily, but this is a disaster. Uh, I think here I want to... They're probably going to go for X equal 1, and I want to kill the, the Enchanter. So let me let them resolve this. And then if they use it... They didn't use it. So let's just target them. Oh, that's right. They can't activate this turn. You are correct about that. So let's go. We might as well attack with everyone. So let's go to attacks. Attack with Lana or Elves, Mahamori Jin, uh, Elvish Archers, Killer Bees. Birds is just going to have to pump this thing. And we can pump up the bees a bunch of times. And we want to leave the Prodigal Sorcerer back because we, if they block the Lana or Elves, we can just pump to kill the, the Enchantress. So let's go attack. Make green with this. One, one, two, three, four so far. Perfect. Okay, they're almost dead, even though they are about to debate us. I don't think I even care that much, Rabbits. I'm just going to kill them with a Mahamori Jin. During the upkeep of Enchanted Land, that's fine. Or they might never use Pestilence because they suck. Who knows? <laughs> oh, we drew a Crawl Worm. Let me just attack. Well, we did it. <laughs> I love how the other from Chandler is not worse than- No, it's exactly the same. Alright, so we need to pick up this dice before we battle that dragon. What's up, Gubular BK? Yes, we have to go get the dice for sure before we battle. I got a killer bees. Mm. Let's go- Before I decide if I want to roll for the other one, let's go see what's in this uh, corner. Yeah, that was not very exciting. <gasps> Oh no, so I can't just throw away the bees. So I should just battle this guy with the bees. He has a fungusaur! Yeah, I need it for the boss, for sure, Shoopy. I, I, I'm gonna keep it. Bees was really just very unexciting, um, that game that we had it. Fungus Among Us. <laughs> Play first. What does fungusaur do? Four mana two two at the end of any turn in which fungusaur was damaged, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Damn. All right. So let's go buy you Birds of Paradise. I know. <laughs> Sick combos, goobs. 
No, the bee is not summoning sick, but we also can't pump it, so it doesn't do anything. I'm taking two. Ooh, psionic blast is good for dealing with a fungusaur. I do like that. I have, I even have the bop. Perfect. Did you miss any sweet pickups today? Uh, Biscuit, we are currently in a dungeon, but we haven't picked up anything uh, yet. So we're just going to blast this thing. Let me just go ahead and do this now. Um, one, two, three. Kill Fungusaur. Nice. And then we can't attack with the bees still. I already played my forest, right? Yep. Uh, regeneration. Regenerate and cringe enchanted creature. That's fine. I think I'd ra just rather kill it. I'd much rather that thing just be dead, honestly. Yo, how? Thank you so much for the 21 months. How? Welcome back. I appreciate you supporting the streamer, you know. How are you doing, by the way? Alright, cool. So we can attack with killer bees and also pump up the jam. Nice. Alright, we're doing pretty good this one. Wait, what is Louise? Is Louise complaining? Gabby made fun of me for buying two Psionic Blasts, but the card is dope. No, I didn't. Oh, you're right. You did buy that card. You're not wrong about that. Ooh, I'm digging that Life Tap, baby. So let's go Island into Life Tap Blue. Now I know that the card is really sweet, Louise. Aren't you happy that I'm playing Chandelar? I have so much better context now. Um, so let's go to attacks and attack with everyone. Uh, let's pump up the bees. One, two, three. That's fine. Yeah, they can't beat our life tap. Taste it. Get in there, in there, in there. Uh, activate bees. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. Ah, uh, that's for Maximus! Thank you. Well, I'm also talking with the bears, rabbits, and they could also just, like, block the bears regen, so... Oh, snap. Thank you so much, Sir Maximus. How are you? Welcome back with a 13. And what's up, Team Kessig? Okay. Giant Spooter. No, no, no. I'm not casting Giant Spooter. I know. They help us gain a bunch of life. It's really nice. So... <laughs> I know. Gagatrice is kind of a problem. But we're gaining so much life, Razark. There's like no real reason not to. Mm, I think we are supposed to attack with the killer bees and they block with the cockatrice. We just pump. And then play land with the giant spider. And then over the next two turns, I can just... They have five cards, though. I think it's fine to attack with bees. Let's get in there. They did block me. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four. Good night, bees. You did a good job. Giant spider. One, two, three, four. Why not attack with everyone? Um, I guess technically I could have. I needed these two to cast a giant spider, and if I attack with grizzly bears, they just chump and regen here. So that doesn't seem to help me very much. No! Desert Twister, six mana destroy target permanent. All right, well, it's dead. Oh, hello. Don't mind that. Don't mind that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this game is sweet, Scott Pilgrim. Oh, shoot. <laughs> they got me. But they took the grizzly bears for no reason. <laughs> All 
All right, we should just be able to kill him next turn. Damn it! Ugh. Crawworm's a good draw. Oh, all right. I guess Mahamodi Jin get in there. Sorry, dude. Might as well send with this. They blocked, right? What do you know? One, two, three, four, five, six. Damn, nature, you scary. Okay, we're we need a contract from below now because we're out of cards. I'm not sure, Lumiere. I wonder if it breaks. It probably does. I need them to stop playing cockatrices. Uh. This is dumb. They're tapped out, so I actually... This doesn't have trample, does it? Yeah, so now we just have to wait. At least we're at 32 life, so that's something. <laughs> Yeah, I think if the game goes long, we're just gonna draw Tim. Thick and Basilisk. Or a control magic, for example. So this is if Thick and Basilisk blocks or is blocked by any non wall creature. Destroy the creature at the end of combat. Yeah. I guess we take the Craw Worm? Maybe take their enchanters. Is that even worth it? It is the only thing that draws them cards. I kind of feel like I should, we just take the crawl worm. Oh, if I take the enchanters, can I? Yeah, I. We. I think it does work. Yeah, I also think we can... I think if I take the Enchantress, this does work. Basilisk, they can regenerate against them. Are you sure? Are you sure about that? It look, It does look like it would work, maybe. It's their enchantment. I can't activate it. Look, I'm going to take the this just because I think the thing is annoying and I think I get to draw a card. It doesn't work. <laughs> All right, well, we learned something new today. At least they don't have it in play anymore. Yeah, today I learned. I don't know, it was worth trying. I do not care if the thick of Vasilisk attacks. Oh no. Uh, yeah, that's not great. Yeah, this is not great. <laughs> that did not go well. Let me attack with grizzly bears. And play this. I don't think I even want to strip anything. I have 35, so we really have a lot of hits that we can um, afford to take. They are attacking with everyone. I accept. I hope they don't have a follow-up. That'd be sweet. Oh no, they have a cockatrice. If I draw control magic, I just win here. Ooh, I like that. One, two, three. Oh, I should block the elf with the enchanters. I was just not blocking at all. All right, we, we did it, fam. This one I can't regenerate because it's not my thing. Um, Let me choose blockers. Yeah, so I can definitely... Oh no, no longer can do that. I guess I could just chump this time. Like, it won't let me regenerate. See, it doesn't work. That's fine. We did it! Boom. Alright, well, we learned a new thing about Viridian Enchantress today. <laughs> Found 170 gold in a back with jewels. So here's a question. This is the green mage. This is, like, the boss, right? So I have to fight the chimp without getting this. And without knowing what's back here. Yeah, so I think we just fight the monkey regularly. And then go get the dice and then fight the green mage. I find an ape lord. Ape lord has shannon and dryads. Alright, that seems pretty good. 
What does this do? Forest walk. So it's a one minute one one forest walk. Pretty good against me. Let me start with underground sea, I guess. Uh, I don't know if there's supposed to be three here. Sometimes there's only two, I think. There might be one on the other side. Oh yeah, they always start out with enchanters. It's stupid. This does count as a... Counts as a swamp any forest. Okay, well, I don't get to play around it, unfortunately. So let's just play this. <laughs> Lumiere. Oh no! Oh no, the Ape Lord is giving it to us. The Ape Lord's giving us the business. They gave fire breathing to the... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, what's happening? Oof. If we get another blue source, we can steal the, the dryads. I would like to control it, I just can't do that yet. Oh my gosh. Uh, we're dying. Holy cow. Hey, Blord, take it easy. Hey, Blord's unbeatable. Come on, if I drop, if I drop blue swords, we're totally fine. I really think we're completely fine if... Okay, I take it back. We're not completely fine. Not at all. Well, we got the island. Oh. Okay, here's the plan. We take the Shivan dragon and then just hope that they don't kill me. Yeah, that's the plan. One, two, three, four. And then we'll take the dryads. All right, you're mine. And then maybe they will chicken out and not attack and stuff. Like, I don't even think I should do anything else here. Well, Jasmine, the, the AI is not very smart. So the AI might not... No! I'm unceremoniously booted from the temple! Ugh, rats. God damn it. This is- st I still don't want your quest. Damn it. We lost the Dirkwood boars. Which is fine, because I think I took one out, so we can just put another one back in. Alright, now that we know a little bit more about what their deck looks like, can we do anything about that Enchantress? Dervish doesn't seem good. Stable Mutation doesn't seem good. Time elemental is too expensive. Basilisk seems medium. The giant spiders did not look good in this temple. Oh, I, lo I love their play, Louise. I thought our play was good. We definitely didn't know about the disintegrate. What were we supposed to do there? Sando, there are these quests that are called mana links, and if you pick up mana links, your life total goes up. Oh, maybe the Dryads is sweet. So we can make a couple changes. Look, let me get rid of the giant spiders. Did not look very good here. And I think what we can add is... Um, scrib sprites. And then the Dryads. And I also want to add... Where is the enchantment? Not power sink. There's that enchant... Unstable mutation. Here it is. Boom. I think we can cheese people out with this. Hey, Jer! Thank you for the four months. Oh, I'm aware, Shoopy. I don't think it's what we want in this deck right now. We're playing it. We're playing a Mox Ruby over it at the moment. The spider snuck back in. I thought I took him out. How did they sneak back in? Oh, they did. <laughs> Yeah, giant spiders seem medium. Yeah, I think we just want these creatures that are basically evasive and unstable mutation to kill them. Oh, I cut the bears, not the spiders. I see. Yeah, I think the spiders just don't look very good in this dungeon. 
Yes, that's from 1997. All right, we're gonna try this instead. It's fine if we lost the dirk wood, it happens. We're gonna go back in here for round number two. I can't play cop green, I don't have the fixing for it. Yes, enter the castle. All right, we're giving it another chance. Which is the toughness of thick basilisk? Is it a 2-5 or a 2-4? I want to say it's a... 5? Is it 4? Okay. Nice. Okay, I will... Let's pick up one of these things. Hi! I got lives, so I can keep going because it's not a, not a creature. I got another thing of lives. Well, I can pick this one up. I got killer bees. This is worthless. Well, shoot be the, the life is fine. Yeah, it really is, Molly. I wonder if we should just not have killer bees so that it doesn't give me killer bees. I'm I'm almost like more tempted to have like crawl worms and stuff like that for that reason. Also, is there any chance we want windstorm? We've played a lot of things that have cockatrices, and I feel like those are debating us. I don't think that's how it works, Travis, but I'm not actually sure. Is that how it works? That's funny. It makes me think that we don't want the killer bees at all. What is the toughness of carnivorous plants? I think it's three. Five? Five? Thanks, chat. Nice. It's four, five. That thing has a wolfie. So... How do you know I'm a powerful mob? You don't. You just know if it's a boss, and if it's a boss, it's tougher. Um, yeah, it's the mix. If you want to, you can get it here. God, I'm really glad I made that video. Now it's just, it's just worked out pretty well. <laughs> yeah, this is the green dungeon, Rage. I mean, we could just re-roll it. We could go out and come back in again. And get rid of the killer bees so that we don't get... Because we keep getting killer bees. And I think killer bees is, like, one of the worst things we can get. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Hold on. We're sure we don't want to make our deck all giant creatures and use the dice. Um, yeah, I don't- I just know that I don't want the killer bees, basically. Oh, is there a ship right outside? We'll stop and- I think Thicket Basilisk could be what we want. Sounds way better. Okay, that's the plan. Yeah, but I just don't want to get them with the dice, Shoopy. Hey, Star Stalker, welcome! Oh my gosh. Oh no, I have to battle her? The ship just has random items and stuff. Oh, oops, I almost skipped through my turn. Uh, drop Mox Ruby. And then nothing else. Nah, don't worry, we will not lose this boar. I am not worried about it. I do not want to lose the second boar, though. I think the boars are one of our better cards. I know, everyone wants our boars. They all want the boars. Nice, Rage, that sounds fun. Ooh, Birds of Paradise, sure. Thank you, Basilisk. Hmm. Wow, our hand is not looking good. They want the bee! <laughs> They really do. 
I like it, Star Stalker. Thank you so much, Scott. I appreciate it. See you later. They in the other place they all start out with the enchantress, but I don't know what you're supposed to do about that. We're just waiting until we can they can basilisk this thing, I think. Yeah, that would be nice to want me around. I, I just don't have anything that good yet, unfortunately. I still think it is Deacon. We just I like we just don't have a good creature that fits in that slot. If we get something else, that would be wonderful, but we are not. Our creature like creatures back here still kinda sucked. Like So I was writing about writing about translating this game to paper. I'm pretty sure it would have to be a multiple session kind of thing, right? Uh yes, if you wanted to play it in paper. Yes. Hmm, we don't have double blue for the gin. Unfortunately. We could just unstable mutation and go to town with like a basilisk. I don't even know if that's good. It doesn't feel like it's very good. Maybe we just strip their forest and just keep passing. Uh, Steven, this is an RPG from 1997, so it's it's older than Moto, yes. Oh, we have a lot of blue in the deck, Shoopy. We got lots of blue. I'm pretty sure that the mana split is good. It just sometimes doesn't work out. Yeah, it's really good, Steven. Or we could drop her to paradise, that would be good too. Well, not nice. Alright, they're not doing anything either, which is nice. Boom. Can start attacking them too. Oh yeah, Deacon, and people love it too. Oh, interesting. Um, They must have giant growth is the only reason they would make this attack. So I kind of don't want to block it. That's like the literal only reason I think the AI would attack there. Maybe they have four giant growth? I mean, they might. Honestly, I don't put anything past the AI. They have another bop. Oh, hello. That's kind of a thing. Well, we're gonna con drink your upkeep, pay four green. So I can actually steal it and pay for it too. So let's go control magic. One, two, three, four. This is mine now. We can also play dryads. Yeah, it does work. I think it's worth taking for sure. Also, if they attack and they have their Jangros, we can just block with the Force of Nature now. Circle of Protection green? Okay. Oh my gosh, they're attacking with the Birds of Paradise and they giant growth at it. Cob green is bullshit. <laughs> uh, yep. I would like to pay upkeep costs, yes. One... Two... Three, four... Through an island. So we can just put an unstable mutation on the gin. Force of nature cop is a combo. Oh, it is, right? You just like cop your own thing. Because it's anything, right? It's from a green source. Okay, so let's island, mutation, the gin. Attack. <gasps> what? Oh my god, we're so dead. Oh my god. That's horrible. <laughs> what do we do now? Yeah, I know. We even have to tap our trop for the force of nature, too. 
Um, yeah, let me pay for this. I guess we just play a life type and hope for the best. Yeah, Prodigal Sorcerer is kind of our out, I think. Oh my god. Oh no! I can't pay for Force of Nature anymore! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> We're dead! We're gonna die! Unless I draw a green source. Okay, so I'm gonna take the eight. Eight damage to you! We drew an island. Well, I can play my bop. Okay, so we're not quite dead. Play my island. I still have my counter spell. It doesn't do anything. Oh. Hold on. They only have one forest up. So we could attack with... Force of nature. So they, they, can, they can forest up the force of nature. Oh, it's generic mana. Oh, it is generic mana. Never mind. We, we have no attacks. We have no attacks. Yeah, it makes sense for this to be generic since they're all white cards. Oh, that's true. We could attack to make them tap for the life tap. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, let me draw. I would like to pay the upkeep costs. One, two, three, four. Oh, now we have counter spell. Might as well attack with you and... I want to leave two back, probably. They took it? <laughs> I don't really get that, but sure. <laughs> the AI is really funny. I guess maybe I should just be attacking with more stuff, maybe. Because the AI is just really bad. Yeah, maybe we should have just been attacking all along. Let's see. Uh, I would like to pay the Force of Nature. One, two, three, four. Oh, hello. That is lovely. Oh my gosh, stop. Stop! They copped up one of them. <laughs> These lifeless decks are so stupid. This is really, really dumb. Oh yeah, Psionic Blast would just kill them. Because I wouldn't even kill me. Alright, you pay for Force of Nature, pay upkeep costs. One, two, three, bird. Uh, draw something good! <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh, this is like kind of scary because I'm going to put up one more card for Ante, but I think we have to. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to do it. What? Alright, you got me. We can discard Counterspell. Psionic Blast is added to my Ante. Okay. Oh, I'm floating mana, you're right. Uh, that's weird. I'll keep that in mind. So let me go... I have the Mox Ruby, so I can go... Island, Prodigal Sorcerer. And if they don't have Life Lace... Oh my gosh, I resolved! <gasps> Amazing! And then we can attack with you and you. See if any of them get in. Yeah, one of them got in. Why did they make contract green? Why does the AI do literally anything? <laughs> uh, let me pay for force of nature. Pay upkeep costs. One, two, three. Where's my bird? Four. Draw land of worlds, play my force. Ooh! 
I could control magic the war mammoth. I don't know if that helps at all. Did we ante the second time? Yeah, we anteed uh, psionic blast as well went into ante. So we can't draw psionic blast anymore. Which is stupid. Uh, I guess we just control magic the war mammoth just so they don't have it. Guess that's reasonable. One, two, three, four. Tack, 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 tack. <laughs> they passed the jump check. <laughs> they passed the jump check. I wanted to see if they would maybe like just not cop one of the things. <laughs> This game has been very stupid. Sure. Oh my gosh, I think we're gonna get there. We did it! Wait, no, I have to pay the cost. Pay upkeep costs. One, two, three, four. Yay! Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> We almost lost our boars and our psionic blast to that stupid deck. Who dares challenge the slimy green wizard? Yes, enter the castle. Okay. Let's answer this question real quick. What is the total casting cost of the island fish Jaconius? Oh, this is really expensive. It's like... Is it... Eight? I think it's eight plus, right? Because I think... Seven? Seven? Oh my gosh, don't you bait me, chat. Seven, seven, eight-ish? Chat, don't you bait me! Seven, okay. I should have just believed Louise, but I was nervous. I was nervous, chat. I have trust issues. Nah, Louise said seven. Okay, there's a little Mahamori Jin over there. Let's go to this side. No, I know you're not going to debate me, but I was nervous. Oh, Jesus. Um, wow, I do not like the layout this time. We're going to have to fight a million things. Go to Ethiopian restaurant. We go to a place called um, Misab quite a bit. It's really good. Should I just reset the dungeon? Yeah, this dungeon seems... Okay. Uh, I don't want to fight Prismat. Those who are near the stronghold of the mighty green wizard must be met with the firmest resistance. You must do all this prismat. <laughs> oh, Lumiere, I don't worry about it because it's like not even close to where we live. Like, we go there so rarely. I'm super careful about what I reveal about like location and stuff. So don't, don't you worry. 22 life. Okay, well, that's cheating, but sure. Uh, let's go forest line laurels. Can I even beat a dragon on my level? Yeah, we've beaten another dragon before. Ivory tower, huh? Beginner area could gain an amount of life equal to the number of cards in your hand in excess of four. Oh, God. Mm. Yeah, we start at 13. That's just our starting life total. Uh, kind of want to just strip their forest, honestly. I do, Colibri. I haven't streamed it in a long time, but it is really good. Oh, it was really Slayer. People loved it. It was a great game. Okay, can't cast anything. Attack with land worlds. I have not tried the new character yet. This game is gonna take a lifetime. But they're not doing anything, luckily. Luckily for us. Um. So we can both life tap and also cast elvish archers. Is it really good? What does it do, Lumiere? I know, Ottawa, everyone comes in here and they're like, Oh my gosh, my childhood! <laughs> Which is so sweet, I love it. One, two, three, four, five. 
How old is Magic Online? I do not know when Magic Online was released. That I have no idea. Look at their 28 life. Stop it. I mean, it does help that they're super manuscript, but it's just gaining so much life. Mox Ruby. Earthquake? Rude. Okay. Well, we have Counterspell now, I guess. What are we doing? Uh, it's called a dragon called Prismat, is what we're battling. That was stupid. Do we have any card drawn? No, unfortunately. I wish we had some. I wish we did. So we're ki getting them for three a turn and they're gaining three a turn. <laughs> uh, feels bad, man. Black Lotus? Okay. Transitions between stances, two damage, or card draw has scry. MTG surveil. Another Black Lotus? Okay, well, sick brags, yo. Uh, let me counterspell that. <laughs> Tasted Prismat. They had Wrath of the God? Jesus. Oh, it was the same Lotus? Okay, and they just cracked it, activated it? That was cheating. I'm worried they'll have another Wrath of God, I mean, I don't know what I do. Um, I don't think we have Angus. No, oh, can I draw something good? We're trying to get back to the temple, Rabbits, the, the, the castle. But we are fighting against a... That's not gonna help. We're fighting against the dragon right now. And we are flooding out. Well, to be fair, our opponent did Wrath of God twice. I haven't even played... Pfft, Psionic Blast? I guess we could just hold on to that. <laughs> They're 31. Contract off the top would be really sweet. Nice. Okay. <gasps> oh my gosh! Julie's gonna eat! Viper, what do you want to give Julie? Let me tell you your options. That's our first Julie Doggers one. There's Milk Bones, Combos, Greenies, and... Uh, and... A chicken stick left. I need to go get... I need to go to Petco. I'm out of like the little kebabs, which is our favorite. Inferno deals six damage to each creature and player. Jesus. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, we took the damage. They have all sweepers. Chicken stick sounds good. All right. So let me get the chicken stick and we'll. I don't know where the doggers is, but I'm sure we can get her to come out here soon. Oh wait, did I debate you? Am I out of chicken sticks? No, I have one, two chicken sticks left. Uh, saving up for doggers, I know. Doggers gonna be well fed. Julie! Jules! Uh Prismat plays dirty. They're doing me dirty. Wow, okay. We're gonna go balls to the wall with Maha Moody Jen. We're gonna suit it up too. Like I'm even gonna put an unstable mutation on it so it's huge. That way they can't kill it. Julie! Of course they're gonna wrath me again. Jules! Julita! Mox Pearl. Our opponent's deck is so expensive. <laughs> it looks like an old school deck. Wow, they didn't have it. <gasps> yes! Okay, hold on. Let me attack first. 
That's really good. Library count? I don't know where we see how big our library is. Let me see. Your library. It doesn't say... Count library cards. 16. And our opponent is at 38. Um... I still think we go for it. Psionic Blast targeting you. Hold on. Let me look at this real quick. Yeah, so Psionic Blast targeting them. One, two, three. Taste the Prismat. And then Contract from below. One, two. Okay, Force is added to the ante. That's fine. Um... Play forest, cast, oh, that's right, contract is one, not two. Forest anti is totally fine. Crawworm, they have seven cards still, but I think we kind of just have to try to kill them. Yeah, that's why I had floating before, yeah, that makes sense. I feel like we just can't put them on Wrath, because we're just going to lose if they have Wrath. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it! To each creature with flying and each player. That's fine-ish? We have seven cards left in deck. Alright, let's attack with Crow Worm and Llanowar Elves. Um... Stream of life would be sweet. So let's go life tap. Me too. I'm nervous too. Let's go prodigal sorcerer. Cribs. Yeah, we're we're just not playing around anything. Screw it. We're just we're all in, baby. Okay. Boom. We did it. <laughs> Please don't kill me. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, that's fine. That's also fine. <laughs> okay, well... Oh, they're playing control, huh? They don't have any creatures. Might as well send with a prodigal sorcerer. <laughs> well, we have double life tap, which does help. I think you just die, Lumiere. I, that's, that's always how it's worked. For each one damage dealt to you, put a vitality counter on living artifact. Remove a vitality counter from living artifact, gain one life. Oh no. <gasps> no! We're dead! Okay, well, we drew a boars. That's good. Oh no! <laughs> All right, we have a chance to kill them right here. Boar's gonna deliver to them. Please, please, save us, Bors, you're our only hope. Oh no, they have an onulet. Oh, well, we can control magic that. <gasps> yes. One, two, three, four. Um, uh, yoink. Attack. Ah! <laughs> we beat it! I was so nervous! <laughs> We had two cards up for Ante, too. I was so nervous. <laughs> yes, we need to save. We need to save. Uh, this is the third clue for a thing. Hold on, I also have a uh, little Julie treaty. Let me go find that, doggers. Jules! Risen! Risen, thank you for the 49... Oh my gosh, 49 month streak. Risen, that's so many months in a row. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. Also, yes, Derpwood Boars... Saving the day. Julie! Oh my gosh, it's so nice. She was hanging out outside and she's all warm because she was laying out there. Mm, you came up running, doggy. Good dog. Oh, All right, Jules. Someone, very generously, got you a treaty, girl. You ready for some treaties? You ready for some treaties? All right, girl. Sit. <laughs> that's not that's not quite it jewels all right don't cheat sit sit <laughs> shake down julie leave it good girl julie oh 
Look at that dog. She left it and everything. She's getting better at leave it. She can't do it with like treats she really likes because she just loses patience. So she's like, this must be mine. now." <laughs> Thank you, Viper. Look at the jewels. She's a happy doggers. I can't believe it won. Oh my gosh, Ponzi. I know. Yorkie. <laughs> what a good dog. Easy clue here. Really? I feel like these cards are actually kind of sweet. They're all commons. And there's even a rare. Hey, Motor City Mama. Uh, good brother. When you buy a card, you have to click y, y. And you buy it. I think we want the cards. Wow, people are mixed. People think clues here too. We don't want any of the cards. Not really. No, but you can sell the cards for cash monies, Ravits, which is why I want to uh, get the cards, I think. Oh, that's really funny, genre. <laughs> I think I'm going to take it. I'm going to take the cards because we can just sell them. Oh, we own an amulet as well. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to... No. I want to save before going into this castle again. Okay. Dude, seriously, Molly. <laughs> yes, enter the castle. Okay, let's go this way. I don't know, Eep. I am not sure how smart the AI is. Uh, let's go here. What is the power rating of Royal Assassin? Power rating? I think it's zero, right? Because it's a zero one? One? <gasps> it's a one one. Okay. Dude, we're... We have to reroll the dungeon again. Look at this. This is impossible. We have to fight so many. Oh, that's sweet, Valupi. Reroll dungeon. Out and back in. Yeah, Sentry Castle. Can I get a playable version of the dungeon? Okay, yeah, this looks better. I should reroll like a coward. What do you mean to do? Which of these spells has flying ability? Lay, Druid, Crawl, Worm, Phantom Monster. I believe this is just Phantom Monster. We did it! Uh, another question. Which of these spells has toughness of one? Uh, I don't know. Is it Pearled Unicorn? Badger? Oh my god, chat. No, don't be like this. Tetra, maybe? Tetravus? Oh yeah, Tetravus does. Yes, Tetravus comes into play with four counters, but it's a one one. Yeah. Yay! Okay. There's a little gin over there. Yeah, that's right. I always think it's a 4-4. Four -four. But it's not really a 4-4. Four -four. Okay, there's a witch. We can do the question mark. Which of these spells have toughness of three? It's not carry an ant. It's not hypnotic specter. Dancing scimitar is a 1-5. So it has to be... And it's not goblin balloon breeze. So it has to be the catapult, right? Yeah. Nice. Four mana, two, three. I like that they quiz you on the cards. That's super cute. Um... So I know we don't have to answer this, but I kind of want to. Which of these spells has flying? Nightmare. Nightmare does for show. Sure. Boom. <laughs> Free quiz, I know. I don't know. I think the quizzes are kind of cute. I like answering them. Yes, can you imagine doing this as a kid and you just like never know the answer? Uh, so let me pick up my dice here. Nice. I start the game with a Tim. Hey, I'm Axel. How are you? We're playing some Chandelar. How are you doing? Oof. So I think... I think the play is to fight this guy to be able to open this side and this side. Our anti-stick at Basilisk. Can we have a Tim? Yeah, probably, Ryan. Like... Not even joking, like for reals, for reals. Uh, let's kick it off with Trop. Oh wow, we we could kind of just go balls to the wall. We could, we could just unstable mutation on Prodigal Sorcerer and just try to just jam. I don't know if that's worth it. We do have double Tim, so we can kill it. I should not do this. This is a stupid idea. I'm just gonna ping. Yeah, I like it, Angus. That's the plan. Uh, they played an island, and... 
I like how in the second main phase you can always see, like, you can see the little cogwheel, you can see when the computer's processing, like, what shall I do this time? Taste, taste it out. Uh, draw. Ooh, and three prodigal sorcerers? That's kind of cool. So let me just play my life tap. One, two. Ooh, I like it, Maxwell. It, yeah, the standard is bad right now. <gasps> what? I'm shocked. What what just happened? How could they? Are you serious? <laughs> they went to 9 too. They're gonna have to discard. Like dingus as they are. I mean, maybe they'll just play everything. They're up to 10. No, where's ours, man? God, it would have been such gas if they targeted us. Uh, I accept. Sure, I'm just gonna snipe it. All artifacts gained during your upkeep pay two or bury this artifact. Okay. Oh, th those are cards are discarded. Okay, sure. That was weird. Oh, the art changes all the time, rabbits. You ha you have to like keep keep track of like. Like, our Prodigal Sorcerer isn't different art, it just has always been two different kinds of art. Bog Imp flying. Okay, that's fine. I think we want to kill that. Draw a forest. So, let's actually just kill this thing so they can't draw any more cards. And then we can play a third Tim. One, two, three. Alright, well... We got the squad ready. Wow, they're just discarding everything. It would be so nice to draw strip mine. Yeah, the Tims are just are owning our opponent. <laughs> no, we're, we're Timmy tribal basically. So I'll almost certainly counter anything here. What is this? Flying during your upkeep, pay black black or bury it. Uh We could just let this resolve and then just like tim it down. Because then we can hold up the counter spell. Let me let this... Uh, it's kind of stuck. Hold on. There you go. Nice. Nice! We can play Jin now. Save counter for Pestilence? Probably. I do think I want to play uh, my Mahamori Jin. I did not- I don't have it open six foot, so I did not see it. <laughs> it's, it's really funny, don't want me around. They just- sometimes the AI is such a bro. Sometimes the AI just like, does you a solid. Like, they could have honestly targeted Ancestral to us. So you, you can't really like hold it against the AI. We got some Scrib Sprites. Might as well unstable mutation this Mahamori Jin and just go to town. Boom. They're so dubs. Alright, so we'll just counter something essential, but like, at this point we're just gonna kill them next turn with this 8-9. Uh, Steam Machine, I, I don't know why my uptown camera yeah. never works. I've been live for an hour and 46 minutes. Phantasmal Forces. Sure. Yeah, that resolves. I don't really care. Bye. Oh, nice. Oh, pff, thanks, MTG bot. MTG bot doesn't care for my stream. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, what is the best way? I want to save some of those dice for the more important bosses. Yeah, that sounds not great, Maxwell. I feel like maybe we have to just battle against this guy over here. Or this witch. This one or this one, right? Which one's the summoner, chat? Summoner is this one. This looks like a summoner. This looks like a centaur. Yeah, we sideworded all the important stuff. 
kill the witch. We're talking this one, right? Right there, the witch. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna grab a dice. I'm just gonna battle. They have a fungus ore. I want to keep those dice for something better. Oh no, my control magic is up for anti. Hmm. Maybe I should have grabbed the dice. I know, no dice against the tutu. <laughs> Monkaias. The problem is we ran out of dice in the last one when we actually needed it. So like, I'm worried about just spewing off dice. Hey, Tavok! Thank you so much for the tier one sub. Welcome to the Brood. I appreciate you. Thank you for supporting the stream. Yeah, I'm really hoping Lifetap does some work here. Ooh. Ooh, I'm digging that. So we can go... Um, we're probably going to have to control magic this thing. So we can go Mox Ruby and then... Wait, what happened to my Mox Ruby? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I think we just... Island Life Tap? Yeah, I think this is going to help me in the long run more. And then I can just steal this with Control Magic. Then Tim can ping this guy and we can grow it when it's ours. Yeah, we need to steal it first. These are kind of a combo, huh? That's pretty cute. Fungusar seems really bad otherwise, though. I know. Galaxy Brain level plays. All right. We can play a forest, and now we'll control magic. One, two, three, four. Take this. Nice. Yoinkage. And now next turn, we'll play the Prodigal Sorcerer, and then we'll start pinging the Fungusaur. And I hope that they just don't play a big creature. Like, if they play a big creature, we're going to be in trouble. But if not, at least we're gaining life from the life tap. Tim Fungus was the kitchen table wombo combo once upon a time. It's so cute to think about. Unstable mutation, sure. So, let's... Oh, wow! <laughs> it changed art! <laughs> this one looks way scarier. Well, let me attack with Fungusaur. Nice. One, two, three. I like this art better. It's really sweet. So when does it grow? At the end of any turn in which Fungusaur was damaged. I see. We do have the combo. We, we, we've assembled it. No, it should be because minus one, minus one is not damage. So we, we could unstable mutation it just to make it bigger and then kind of like make it not take damage. But I don't think we're going to do that. Contract from below. Damn. I'm kind of digging that contract. All right, here's the plan. And it's any turn. So we can go play island, unstable mutation, the fungus or contract from below. Boom. And then we'll just Prodigal Sorcerer to ping it at the end of their turn because it's any turn. So now we can go Contract from below and tap Underground Sea and a Forest. Or actually Mox Ruby. Oh, that's right. It's only one. I, I always think it's two for some reason. Forest is added to your ante. Okay. So we already played our land. We still have four mana left. So we can play another Prodigal Sorcerer. Oh, wow. Our Fungusaur is going to get out of control. That's amazing. So we can go Prodigal Sorcerer, one, two, three. Yeah, we can Tim it every turn. This is going to be amazing. And then we can Scrib Sprites, too. And I don't think I'm scared of the Mammoth, so let's just attack Fungusaur. And I'll ping it at the end of their turn. I know, Deacon. <laughs> it, was, it was a bundle deal, you see. It's a, a blowout sale on seven cards. It only costs one mana. What MTG episode? This is a uh, Chandelar from 1997. Tim, my Fungusaur. <gasps> he's a 6x! Now he's gonna shrink again, though. Does this game cost money? No, it's for free. It's for frizzle. Mm. 
Let me attack with Fungusaur and Scrib Sprites. They blocked. So... I used to cost money at some point or another. I, I torrented it, so... Let me play... Crawworm. One, two... Three, four, five, six. This is this is more like abandoned wear, yeah. <laughs> um okay, so we do want to ping it one time. And then we'll ping it at the end of their turn. We actually probably should just be pinging them. Yeah, there's a there's a website that just has it up for uh, for download. It was a community project that wanted to um allow people to be able to play it past Windows XP, because I think XP is um, the last time this game was uh, compatible. Yeah, I, I might just kill some birds. Oh, geez. They got the force of nature. Yeah, my fungus is not big enough to attack anymore. I'm gonna just go at the bird, I think. Yeah, you have to run it in compatibility mode and stuff. I could swing with a crawl worm and then just kill the force of nature. That seems reasonable. Oh, or they could just not block. <laughs> that works for me too. Hmm, that's the green mage. Okay, question chat. If I fight the green mage, do I get to keep exploring the dungeon? You don't. You are done exploring the dungeon after you do that. Okay. So, I mean, no, I want to kill him, but I... I don't have the lure for it, Ryan. I don't, unfortunately. The treasure in that castle isn't that great anyway. Oh, that's right. The treasure did suck last time we were here. All right, so let me just get this. I got a Scrib Sprites. Uh, let's do the question anyway. Which of these spells has Trample? It's not the Basilisk or Crawl Worm. Is it the Giant Badger? Landworm? A couple people seem to think it's Landworm. No, so it's not the Giant Badger. All right, so it sounds like it's Elder... Elder Landworm. Oh, it does have trample. Okay, cool. Boom. Sweet. So since it, since it did stink last time, we can just go in here and see if we can crush them with... <gasps> oh no! <laughs> I'm so nervous! Our contract from below? Not our contract from below! Oh no! Oh no! Alright, well we have the Tim to kill the Dryads this time, so... I know, just- just win! Just win, forehead! <laughs> okay, this is the thing that killed us last time, but it was the Ape Lord, and we were actually gonna be able to kill it with Tim next turn. Yeah, this is getting for serious, yo. We have the same thing, so let's go... This into Prodigal Sorcerer, one, two, three. I don't think I want to attack because I eventually want to ping both of them. Yep. Just got Royal Assassin? Nice. Oh my gosh, they- ah! Oh no. Mox Ruby. Uh, forest. So, I think we're supposed to just kill the bat. Um, and take some damage from the other idiots. And then deal with a forest walker. And then we can maybe control mag- I don't even know I want to control magic anything here. I know, Tim is overworked for sure. We could take control of the dryads. Can block bat with sprites. Well, I, I just want to kill the bat before they can pump it up. No, I don't want to let them on top. Oh, it only pumps power? Oh, it does. All right, so I'll wait for Tim in combat. Yes, that, that actually does make sense. So let me just play Dryads and Elvish Archers. 
I don't want to steal anything yet. Yo, Mateo! Welcome! And there's no real reason to attack with script spray, so let's just wait. If that's all they're using, I'm gonna... Boom. Okay, cool. That was good. Step one. Sure. <gasps> that one's really big. That one we want to control magic. So let's go control magic. Oh no! No, we do have Birds of Paradise. Lucky. So let's go blue, trop, forest, forest, steel phantom monster. Woo! That one's mine now, baby! So let's hit with you, and you, and not the other ones. Mateo, this is a uh, Chandelar. It's a magic RPG from 1997. How broken is my deck? It's not broken. It's getting better, for sure. They did not attack. Ooh. Oh, we're gonna ping that one. Bye. Nice. One, two, three, four. Uh, five. It's really fun. This game is super duper fun. Attack, attack, attack. We are crushing them, chat. I guess I could be attacking with Scrib Sprites, too. Oh, if it looks like it's extremely 90s, it's because it's extremely 90s. Ancestral Recall? That's cheating! Uh, that's nice, Mar. Mar that's sweet. Uh oh, Mahamori Jin is scary. Mahamori Jin scares me. I don't like it. Yeah, Phantom Monster would be good in my deck. Agreed. Mm. Ancestral Recall is BS. So let's attack with Thicket Basilisk. Dryads. Yeah. And then we'll just keep pinging them with Sorcerer. We have chump chumpers for Mahamori Jin. Cool, they're at three. Love it. They didn't block my ticket basilisk like a coward. Uh, I think I'll take the six. Uh, no, maybe, you know, maybe I'll just block with scrib sprites. Control magic where we have another control magic, luckily. Oh, that's kind of annoying. There are two. Another Scrib Sprites. Yes, Elvish Archer seems like it would have reach, but it kind of doesn't. Whoa, what are they doing? They're just like pumping up stuff for no reason. <laughs> they just did it in response, which is kind of sweet. Let's attack with a Dryads, get them to one, and then ping him to death. Boom. Let's go grab another dice. Land or Elves? I feel like we can do better. I feel like we should check out these other dice and see if either of them is better than Land or Elves. Right? Because, like, Land or Elves just feels... Thicket Basilisk. Okay, we can start a game with Thicket Basilisk. That sounds really good. They do not stack. No, you only get to keep one. If it's life, so you get to have lives and then a creature, but it doesn't stack. I think Thicket Basilisk is like a nice five drop. Do you get cards when you win a match? Kind of. Um, some monsters give you cards when you win a match. Uh, you also find cards like ra out in the overworld. What is this? This is... No, Reed, we're still here. <laughs> But we're about to battle the, the boss, so we're actually doing kind of okay. Ooh, Fungusaur, I can't beat that. Mox, Ruby, and... Uh, what else can we do? Tropical Island, and not actually cast anything else, unfortunately. Our hand's not amazing. I guess I can just start attacking with this thing, though. Oh, maybe I shouldn't, because they're at 20 and we're at 13. Never mind, I'm not attacking. Never mind, I'm not attacking at all. Yeah, I, I, I just realized that they're at so much higher life total. So let me go underground C, play life tap. We'll just sit tight.
Yes, I think life tap is very, very useful here. Another bob. Killer bees. Ugh. That's kind of scary. We might have to control magic the bees. Like, the bees are just going to kill us so fast if we don't. Bees do nothing. How do... Oh, you're right. The bees don't do that much, huh? Because every time they pump up the bees, I... Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. So let's just... I wish I could pass with... Oh, I am passing with Counterspell. Okay. No, I agree. Let's just sit tight then. As long as we have life tap, you're right. The bees don't really do that much. JM Day Tome? Oh, I'm not down for that. That's... I mean, here's the question. How good is the AI? Because if the AI sucks, JM Day Tome doesn't do anything for them. But otherwise, JM Day Tome is really scary. I feel like we have to counter it. Boom. What does it do? Tome is spooky. It's just card draw. It's four mana draw card. That's literally all it is. It's four mana draw. But I feel like that can just... Oh, I guess the Birds of Paradise makes it so it does deal us a little bit of damage. Because they can get green without pumping the killer bees. It's funny, but it's not a huge deal. We should always play all our cards out because we have contract from below. Attack with this. Yeah, five mana, deal one damage, which is fine. If that's what they want to do, I'm not really worried about that. <laughs> oh, they just used two forests that time, so it was two deal two, gain two. Oh, that's interesting, Lumiere. Well, now they have two bees. I might steal the bees now that they have second bees. They're at four cards. I really am worried that they'll have like a force of nature or something, but I guess the Kid Basilisk can kind of deal with that. I can probably wait one turn before using Control Magic. Yeah, I think there's something scarier that they could play. I feel like if they play Force of Nature or like a rare, I'm gonna really regret not using my Control Magic. Like, they're not doing anything right now. Okay, that doesn't matter. Enchanted Creature gets plus X plus X, where X is equal to half the number of Force you control, rounded down for power and up for toughness. Um, Wait, they discarded it? What happened? Where'd it go? Oh, this has Aspect of the Wolf. Eh, it's an aura. Okay, I thought it was a creature for some reason. Now I'll steal that bees, I think. Yeah, so now I think that bees is worth stealing. Because we have a lot of forests too. So let's go control magic. One, two, three, four. Steal the bees. Mine. I unfortunately don't have enough blue to cast Prodigal Sorcerer also. But we can hit with this. Okay, I think this is going okay. We're at 19. We've gained a lot of life off of the life tap. We would be so dead without life tap. <laughs> Attack goes <to> zero one. <laughs> oh, that was good. And then we can just try to kill the birds of paradise. Oh no. Gaius Leash is attacking. It has power and toughness equal to the number of force defending player controls. Otherwise, it has power and toughness equal to the number of force you control. So, as long as Gaia's Leash is attacking, this is a weird card. It doesn't have Trample, though, so we can just block it with a Thicket Basilisk. It's not a huge deal. So, as long as Gaia's Leash isn't attacking, its power and times are equal to the number of force you control. So, we could shrink it also by stripping. Takes up a color minute, but you're green anyway. Oh yeah, it's a tap. Well, it's tap. It's a tap ability. The last thing, view full card. It doesn't really show you the full card. Um, let's attack with this and killer bees. So I want to use this and go one, two. 
re all right we hit him for a good amount Nah, it doesn't work, Arrows. It's just the way the thing is displayed. It's kind of crappy. Is this a mod of the original? It, so it's not quite a mod of the original game. It's like the community made an update to the game so that it would be compatible with future versions of Windows. And that's why it has some of the more recent art. Um, so that's, that's, that's a little bit of what's going on here. I think I do want to strip um, their forest. To make that a little bit smaller. So small. Oh, is that card modern legal too? It's a weird card. Oh, that does make the beast smaller too. No, it doesn't. Oh, no. The aspect of the wolf on the Gaia's leash. Uh, yeah, they are debating my... Oh, this thing's stuck. Let me see if... They're attacking with bees. I accept. Yeah, they can pump the bees. That's fine. Yeah, they're taking away my blue. Alright. I don't know. That wasn't, like, too scary. Play Bayou. Attack with these two. Pump the bees for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... And before they go planes cop green. Boom, they're at eight. Love it. Let's keep going. Oh, what? Stream of life? Are you for reals? I'm using it for damage missing matter. Uh, I know, Razark. I'm just saying it would be funny if they did that. Let me ping... Oh, they basically tapped out. Let me ping the killer bees. Play land elves. I uh, don't even know if that's worth it. <laughs> Attack with these two. Pump this thing up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're at four. Nice. All right, I think we got this. I think we're going to get the green mage. I think we're going to get the green mage. Uh, CeeLo, I have a video here for how you do it. Sure, they're drawing a bunch of cards. I accept. They're going ham. Another life tap? That's funny. Well, I don't have green ma or blue mana anymore, but whatever. Let's go to attacks and attack with... Oh shoot, I need to kill the birds of paradise. Uh, Prodigal Sorcerer, that. And then pump up the bees for a bunch. Did we do it? Did we do it? Did we do it? Did we do it? Yes! We beat the green mage. Taste it. It only took us like three restarts of the dungeon. No big deal. <laughs> You have defeated the slimy green wizard. No longer shall his evil slimy creatures oppress the good people of Chandelar. Sever Haven freed! You may take any three. <gasps> we get to take any three green cards? Love it. So we could take fixing. Like, trop doesn't sound too bad. The original version, there was a very Terry Bad video showing his demise. That's really funny. I kind of wish. Yeah, we only want to take rares here. Uh, we honestly wouldn't mind getting a bop, though. Because bop, I think, is, like, fantastic in our deck. So we could go, like, bop, trop, and then... We need a, a bigger chunker. Like, we want, like, a force of nature or something. Oh, they do have Gaia's liege. You like bop and two duels? Louise, I kind of feel like we want to get a big chunker. Like, a, uh, something at the... Yeah, like a force of nature or something. Like, wouldn't force of nature be sweet in our deck? We don't have a lot of good finishers. Ernie? Which one's Ernie? Ernim Jim? 
Oh, this is like, this is pretty chonker. During your opponent, your upkeep target non-wall creature and opponent control gains force walk until your next turn. Hmm. I have not tried it, Xenocide. Uh, Celos! Thank you so much for the Prime sub. I appreciate that. Yeah, so the gin is kind of interesting. Let's see if there's anything. No, I don't really want this. Nah, it seems medium. Cost one of has plus one toughness. Yeah, it's a it's a good rate. Oh, cockatrice is not bad either. Okay, hold on. I know I'm taking Bop, so let me take Bop. I know that for sure. Uh, Aswan Jagger is really cool card. Let me see. What else we got? Yeah, birds and trop are like guaranteed. So let me just take birds and trop because we need that. Yes. So then now we have one last one that's kind of just a free roll. Uh, we used to have a Sylvan Library in this deck. It doesn't... We don't have it anymore, unfortunately. You can't grab two of the same one, unfortunately. Fungasaur? Where is the Fungasaur? <sighs> nah, we're not really a channel deck. We just either we either want to take another duel or just like something big. Last F card. Oh, Fungasaur. Oh, I don't like that card. I could see maybe Force of Nature. Let me see. Brambles, Tracker, Timberwolves, Stick, and Basilisk. I kind of am digging that Urnum, that Urnum Gin. Four mana, four five just just kills people. That's true, Fungasaur is good with our Prodigal, but I think we can do better than that. What about non-creature spells? I guess we can take a look real quick and see if there's anything good. Uh, nothing here looks good except for Sylvan, which I don't even think we really care for. Remember, Sylvan's much worse when you started at such a life lo low life total. Take a look at Aswan. It's a, it's a creature. I'll look at it in a sec. Nothing is good here for sorceries. And then for instance, nothing's good for instance. I guess we should look at interrupts as well. What does part three mean? Oh, we've just been playing this for three days now, Jima. Life place. We don't want that either. Oh, do they have Desert Twister? That just destroys any permanent, right? That is kind of sweet. I do think we are really, really, really hurting for uh, a creature that's good. So it's either this or... We could take Bayou again, but I don't feel like we've had that much of a problem casting Contract from below, so it makes me feel like Bayou's not as necessary. Why green, though? We have to, uh, Feminine. No, we can't. We have to take green. You think Urnim isn't the best ever? Yeah, giving them Force Walk is bad. Luis, would just just take a Bayou here? Urnim can be difficult in dungeons. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Aswan Jower is not bad. Let me look. Three mana two to when Aswan Jaguar comes into play, choose a random creature type from those in target opponent's deck. Oh, wow, that card is kind of cool. So it's a 3 mana 2-2 two -two that just randomly could snipe one of their creature types and it taps to just kill. As when Jagger was a bug promo. No, you can't. You can only take green cards, chat. This card is pretty cool. Yeah, so do you get to look at their deck when this happens? No, it doesn't, Clayton, because I think this is just a promo. Oh, it just lets you say, like, it has goblins. I see, I see. So, like, you cast it, and it says, this person has... 
goblins, fairies, dryads, whatever. And it's a chandelier or exclusive. That's really funny. I might just take the bayou. God, that's so boring. It does let us... It makes it so that any future contract from below that we get, we can just go ham. I know, I know it's so boring. Jower does sound really fun. You know what? I'm just gonna take the Jaguar. It's so cool. Whatever. <laughs> Maybe Bayou is the right choice, but I want to take Asgore Jaguar here. Let's go. Boom, we did it. Alright, so we need to head back. We need to save real quick. Ooh. I know, it's really cool. We need to make some edits. So we just picked up a Bop. And we just picked up an As As one Jaguar. And we can take out... Yeah, Seth, I, I just feel like it's going to be more exciting to have that card. And so we have some cards we have to de-sideboard from the dungeon. So we can take out um, the two psionic... No, not psionic blast. The two life taps. One, two. And then we also don't really want to play Unstable Mutation anymore because that was just something we were doing for that dungeon. Um... And we wanted to add giant spiders back in again because that's what we took out for the dungeon. And then we can also take out dryads because that wasn't part of the plan. Or the scrib sprites. So then giant spider goes back in. And then we're at 39. Oh, we have the new trop. You're right. So let me cut the new trop. Cut a forest for it, I think. I don't know if I'm adding the library back in, because remember, the two colorless sources I'm playing are the Mox Ruby and the Strip Mine. Oh yeah, my bees! I forgot my bees. My bees are supposed to be in there. We just took them out because they were such a bad card to RNG off the dice. Okay, so I think this is our deck. Yeah, Vice is good. I don't mind Vice. I'm still on... I'm still in search for a good Chonker, but... Oh yeah, Thicket Basilisk wasn't in our deck initially. We boarded it in for that dungeon. So I think we can add the Black Vice again. The Green Mage had Sylvan Library, by the way. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't want to take Sylvan Library. We lost the Sylvan Library at some point. Vice is better against weak opponents because it kills them early. Yeah, if we go into a uh, place where life loss carries over, I will not... Yeah, I was not super impressed with. Remember the problem with Sylvan Libraries, you start out at really low life. If you like this video, you can subscribe for more. And if you want to come say hi to us on the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash I stream every weekday in the afternoons, mountain times. See you later!